To create a new account manually, click the option labeled New Account at the top of the page. This option is available no matter where you navigate to in the Simplicity software. The New Account screen is where you can manually add a single new account into Simplicity Collect rather than using a spreadsheet to import your data. There are many data fields that can be filled, but the only requirements for adding a new account is that the client be selected, there is an account number, and a debtor with first and last name be added to the account. To add a debtor to the account, you can begin typing the debtor last name into the provided field. A list of existing debtors with similar names may appear. If the debtor you are entering appears in this list, you may select the existing debtor record rather than entering the information again and creating a duplicate debtor. If, when you enter the debtor name, the debtor does not already exist, you will click the Add button to enter a new debtor. In the Add New Debtor pop-up screen, you will have the option to enter all pertinent debtor details. If the debtor is a company, rather than an individual, you have the option to enter the company details instead. When entering the debtor information, the use of filler data, or data that is not accurate but that is entered simply to be a placeholder, is strongly discouraged. For example, the social security number in Simplicity is used to link multiple accounts for a single debtor. Because this linking feature is based on social security number, entering an incorrect social security number, such as all zeros or all twos, may link accounts that have no association to each other. Once you have entered the necessary debtor details, click Save. If you have entered a social security number, you may see an alert at the bottom of the display box stating that a debtor with this social security number already exists. Clicking Add New Debtor Anyway will link the debtor to any accounts associated with debtors of the identical social security number. All other fields are optional. These fields are Creditor, similar to Client, but typically used when there is a third party involved. If you plan to report to credit bureaus, the creditor, along with the appropriate Metro 2 class, will be required. Collector. If a collector is not assigned, the account will be added to the unassigned distinction. Queue. Queues are a filtering tool that allow you to further separate and assign accounts. Referring. Indicates referring attorney if applicable. Sales rep. This assigns an internal sales representative to the account. Account type refers to either non-commercial or commercial accounts represented by either non-com or com. Client claim number. This can be used as a second level of account identification and to house a client given account number. Last payment. It is not an editable field but will automatically populate once there are payments on the account. Age. This indicates the age of the debt in number of days. Status. Assigns a custom account status to the account. When creating an account manually, the status will default to the first status in the list. Originated. This is a date field that allows you to enter the date the debt first originated. Charge off. This is a date field that allows you to enter the charge-off date, if applicable. Next Work. This field allows you to enter a future date when you would like to next work this account. There is a corresponding filter that will allow you to search and sort accounts by next work date. First Delinquency. This field allows you to enter the date of first delinquency. If you plan to report to credit bureaus, this field will be required. Claim Received. This field allows you to enter the date your agency received the claim or debt. Purchased. This field allows you to enter the date the account was purchased, if applicable. While adding financial data is not required on this screen and can be added easily after account creation, an easy way to add this information is at the top right of this screen. In the drop-down, you can choose either Original Claim 
or judgment amount. You can then add the amount, the interest rate, and the claim start date. The date can be added by either typing it in the provided field or utilizing the calendar option. Once you have added the required data elements and any optional fields of your choosing, you will click the Save button. This will create your account. Mm -hmm.